Motor Week is made possible by rockauto.com. Buying a used car can be your best value, but you need to do research to make sure that it truly is a good value. And to give us some pointers, we have Emily Voss from Carfax. Emily, welcome to Goss's Garage. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. All right. Now, uh, what's one of the biggest problems that you run across as far as used cars are concerned? It's important when you're buying a used car to know the vehicle's history. And one of the biggest problems we see is odometer fraud. I think a lot of people, there's a big misconception that it doesn't happen. There's not odometer manipulation with the digital odometers, but that's not the case. The National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration estimates about 450,000 cars are sold each year with some sort of odometer rollback, and that costs consumers about $1 billion annually. So those numbers are staggering, Pat. Yeah, absolutely. And th there is this misconception, like you just mentioned, that uh, you can't roll back a digital odometer, but that's completely wrong. It is completely wrong. And so as a consumer, if you're buying a used car, there's a couple things you can do to try to protect yourself against that. You want to make sure, the, sure that the wear and tear on the outside of the vehicle and inside of the vehicle matches the mileage reading. And one of the good ways to do that is have a mechanic inspect the vehicle. Sometimes they can notice things that don't add up. Maybe something has more wear and tear than what the mileage reading is saying. Also, uh, Carfax has a free tool where you can check the odometer reading to see if there's been any recorded manipulation and also on a Carfax vehicle history report, you can see if there's anything flagged for a potential odometer rollback or inconsistency. Critical information. Emily, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, take care. And if you have a question or a comment, drop me a line right here at Motor Week.